Hi, this is Stuart Talley, uh, partner at Kershaw Cutter and Ratanoff, and I'm here today to report on some recent updates in the Stryker Rejuvenate and ABG2 uh, litigation. Uh, as many of you know, the uh, Stryker uh, Rejuvenate and ABG2 hips were recalled uh, last year, and uh, the problem with these hips is that they have a, uh, a mechanism that causes corrosion in the neck of the hip. Um, that causes the release of cobalt and chromium ions in the hip joint of patients who have these hips. Um, we believe there are between 20 and 25,000 of these hips that were installed uh, in the United States. And right now there are several hundred lawsuits that are on file throughout the country. Um, the recent development is uh, a ruling from a uh, eight-judge panel uh, that decides where all the federal striker cases will be sent. Um, the way the court system deals with these cases is that they consolidate them. Uh, when there's hundreds or thousands of lawsuits all involving the same product, uh, the court system wants to consolidate those cases and put them in front of one judge. So the panel that uh, decides where these cases get consolidated uh, recently ruled that they are going to be sent to Judge uh, Donovan Frank, who's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, we are, at Kershaw Cutter, we are very happy with that appointment. Uh, we have dealt with Judge Frank in another uh, mass tort that we handled on behalf of thousands of people who had defective defibrillators. Uh, judge Frank has been uh, on the bench uh, as a judge since 1985. He was appointed by uh, President Clinton to the federal bench in 1993. Um, he has lots of experience. He's very fair. Um, and most importantly, he's very efficient. He, he is very good at pushing these cases forward and uh, getting them towards resolution. So we're very happy with the appointment. Um, uh, right now, we are preparing our cases to file in Minneapolis in front of Judge Frank. Uh, we expect that shortly many other law firms are going to be filing cases there. And by the end of the day, there will be a couple thousand cases in front of Judge Frank. Um, after the cases get consolidated, the next step uh, in the process is he will appoint a group of plaintiff's firms uh, to be responsible for handling the litigation. Um, they typically call this group a, a plaintiff steering committee or an executive committee. Uh, at Kershaw, Cutter, and Ratnoff, we plan on being on that committee. And uh, when we're on that committee, what we do is we do the work that will benefit everybody. We take the depositions of all the executives. Uh, salesmen, engineers involved in this HIP. Uh, we also get the documents from the defendants. And we essentially pool our resources to do the work uh, that will benefit everybody down the road. So that's where we are. Um, the next step, uh, this appointment of an executive committee, is likely to occur in the next 60 days. Um, we'll see. Hopefully Judge Frank will move quick. And, uh, and we'll move forward with the litigation, hopefully to a prompt resolution. So that's where we are. Um, if you have a Striker Rejuvenate or ABG2 hip that was recently recalled, feel free to give us a call. Uh, you can reach us at area code 916-448-9800. Uh, you can also reach us through our website. We have a, a, a very detailed website that provides lots of information about cobalt and chromium toxicity. There's video. Uh, video interview of uh, an expert that we hired to give some opinions on the issue. Um, we also have a library that has medical journal articles uh, on the issue. So if you have one of these tips and you're concerned about what the cobalt and chromium is doing to you, uh, I, hopefully our website will give you some answers. Um, also, if you uh, Skype, we're always available for Skype um, to interview us or to provide advice on your legal issues, um, the way you can reach us on Skype is uh, through Stuart Talley. That's my name and that's my uh, Skype address. Um, with the website, the website is www.cobalt-chromium-toxicity.com and that's how you can reach us through the website. We'll report back soon.